To add data, you click on the plus sign. You're going to navigate to C Arc Data CGC folder. That's where all the grade 9 uh, files are found. You're going to select Canada 2001. From here, we need to change our projection. So we go to Data Frame Properties under View, and we're going to select under Under the projected coordinate system, we're going to click on Continental. Select North America and Canada Albers equal area conic. OK. Now to zoom in, we use our magnification to zoom around. If you ever get stuck and zoom in too close, you click on the shape that looks like the globe. Now by holding down the control key, you can select different themes at once. We're going to add cities and lakes. Now these are layers. You can turn them off, turn them on by clicking on the checkbox. Now we're going to change the symbology. Select on categories, unique values, but we're going to select name, and that's going to give us the name of the provinces. Add all values. Unclick the box. Click OK. Now you can see all the colors corresponding to the provinces. The lakes, we're going to turn the lake to actually look like a lake instead of pink. Move the lakes below the provincial layer. Now we're going to do the cities. To do the cities, we're going to do what's called the definition query. You click on Query Builder, and now we're going to tell to label just the capital cities by doing the following. So it would be capital, double click, equals, single click, double click on the number. And follow the pattern so it's Capital equals 1, or capital equals 2, or capital equals 3. If you don't do it in that order, it won't work. Now we're going to add background. We're going to add Greenland and the US. So add, select background, and add Greenland and USA. Hold in the control and add. some of our areas. And again, if you ever zoom in too close, you can click on the globe and it will zoom out. Oops, I zoomed in on ocean. Now I need to click on the globe and it'll zoom out. Zoom in to have the proper view. Now we're going to label, select label, select place where it clicked, close the box. Now we're going to label all the provinces, continue and do that. Now if you look, if there's some colors that are too close to each other, you can change one color so that there is contrast. Check the placement of all places. And you're going to break up double words by clicking on them. If you double click or select properties in general, you can open up the theme and make sure it's on two layers so it's not too big.
now we're going to label cities and we're going to edit edit symbol click on mask and make sure that you hold your pointer so that you see the actual city oops that one it's on Alberta so I delete it and then I hold the pointer so it lines up on the dot and I see Edmonton Saskatchewan, delete, hold on so it's Regina, and continue this for all of the cities. Move them around so as to not cover the dot. Again, split up British Columbia. things around now for Prince Edward Island and Charlottetown we're going to double click on Charlottetown and go to the properties and add PEI to the end of it From view, select layout view. So you're going to click outside of the box of the page and select page print setup. Change to landscape, click OK. Now you've got to change the printing surface of your map so it fits the layout shut side. Manipulate the boxes. And then zoom so that Canada takes up most of the printable surface. You can show bits of the part of Alaska in the US and Greenland, but it's not to be taking up most of them. Insert title, so you can name it Political Map of Canada. it to an open area. You can insert a north arrow, select one that you like, put it in the bottom right hand corner. We're going to insert text. It's going to default to the middle of the page. You're going to backspace and type in cartography by your name and the date. Move it to the bottom left of your screen. You're also going to insert a scale bar. So insert scale bar, select one that has contrast, click on properties and change the division units from miles to kilometers. Click OK. 